guys are talking about how deep a division it is. We remind you, the guy who is designated by Ring Magazine right now as the champion of the division is Ricky Hatton. He's sitting at ringside tonight. Floyd Mayweather figures he's going to educate the ring along with everybody else tonight. And Larry Merchant, a mismatch is indeed possible, but of course, fortunately for the entertainment value of the sport, there are a lot of people who thought that Carlos Mousa would be outclassed against Vivian Harris. When we talk about Gaddy and... Uh, obviously, the point has been made. He had a great life going here in Atlantic City, fighting opponents who were chosen partially because he was expected to beat them, making $2 million per fight, uh, and enjoying the extreme adoration of the crowd, which is again here tonight. Why risk all that by fighting Pretty Boy Floyd? Because it still makes dollars and cents. Gaddy being Gaddy, wanted to test himself against one of the best. His handlers, being handlers, didn't want that fight. But they figured that some young gun might come along anyway and beat Gaddy. So they went for the biggest event possible, for the biggest money possible, for a kind of annuity for a very worthy warrior. And as for Gaddy's fans, they love him too much to leave him win or lose indeed they're not going to leave him just because he loses to the guy that a lot of people think is the best fighter in the sport and if he beats him well the sky's the limit for arturo gaddy's potential commercial impact at that point roy jones everybody talks about floyd mayweather's fabulous speed it's the reason he's a heavy favorite in the fight what do you do to stop speed and does arturo gaddy have it well a jab is a good way to stop it Get lucky and time. Those are the only three things that are going to be speed. However, I think Arturo has been working on the jab lately, but I don't know if he's got it down pat enough to really make a difference in this particular fight. Also, you got to remember all these people in here hollering and screaming for Arturo got it is going to make him want to exchange as soon as he gets pop good. Yeah, a lot of people figure the Gaddy who's been boxing so effectively won't be here tonight. I don't he's got to so. go to war to have a chance to win. Bail of the tape. For Arturo Gatti versus Floyd Mayweather at 140 pounds. Gatti is five years older at 33. Mayweather with a half-inch arm length advantage. Or check it, a one-inch arm length advantage and a half-inch height advantage. They both weighed in at or within a pound of the 140-pound limit. We do not have their unofficial weights coming out of the, the dressing room tonight. But rest assured, Arturo Gatti will significantly outweigh Floyd Mayweather in the ring. It remains to be seen whether it's any kind of advantage. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Arturo Gatti, Floyd Mayweather fight is scheduled for 12 rounds. This is the Unified Rules in the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. In case the cut is caused by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards after four rounds have been completed, and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim! Pretty Boy Floyd will enter first. And you hear the theme music for the ultra-confident Floyd Mayweather. He has a spectacular smile, and the Gaddy crowd responds to the mode of transportation for the entrance. Uh, this is like Jesse James walking into a convention of bankers. He knows who the crowd is here to root for, and Roy, I think that makes him that much tougher to beat tonight because Floyd Mayweather, in a way, loves to be hated. Yes, he does. And this is what he drives off of. This gives him extra fuel. That's why he's coming in with another one bites the dust. The worst music he could possibly find to antagonize and really upset these, these fans and a two guys. Do you think he has belittled Gaddy so feverishly coming into the fight because he wants Arturo to come at it? Yes, he does. If you can lure him into a slugging fight, then he definitely can beat him. If you, Arturo stays back in bo boxes, which is not what he's used to doing, it may, it may cause a problem for him. A lot of people figure that Mayweather can easily win a decision here with his hand speed and his boxing skills. What he's promising is a knockout an annihilation, an erasure, something which will embarrass Gaddy, after which he will party, as he says, on Gaddy's home turf. <laughs> well, it was only 90 degrees here today, so obviously he needs fur.
Mayweather came close to defeat in the eyes of ring critics really only once. In his first fight against Jose Luis Castillo, some ringside observers felt as though Castillo might have deserved the victory for his body punching. Mayweather wound up sealing the deal the second time around. And here comes the love. It's not about whether he wins or loses. Floyd Mayweather's eardrums. a huge step forward in the career of Arturo Gatti. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of Caesars Atlantic City and Bally's Atlantic City, main events, along with Top Rank Incorporated, are proud to present the featured bout of the evening, thunder and lightning. Twelve rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World. Presented in association with Caesars and Bally's Atlantic City with Nemiroff and HBO Pay-Per-View. Sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board, Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard Sr., WBC President Jose Suleiman. The three judges at ringside scoring this bout will be Dave Moretti, Luis Rivera, and John Stewart. And when the bell rings, your referee are the Earl Morton. And now for the sold out, standing room only crowd in attendance. Are you ready? For the millions watching around the world, courtesy of HBO Pay-Per-View, fight fans, are you ready? There's only one thing left to say, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with white, official weight, 139 pounds. Professional record, a perfect one. Consisting of 33 bouts, 33 victories with 22 knockouts. And he is rated by all as among the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, the challenger, former junior lightweight world champion, Former lightweight world champion, the undefeated Pretty Boy, Floyd Mayweather. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with blue. A visual weight, 140 pounds. Professional record. 39 victories, including 30 knockouts with six defeats and two world titles. From Jersey City, New Jersey, the ultimate blood and guts warrior, two-time world champion, the reigning, defending, WBC super lightweight champion of the world, Arturo Thunder. 